Hello everyone, welcome to another Stand Upright Reboot video and in this video I'm gonna go ahead and talk about Seamoon with an attribute of Sloppy. And what Sloppy does is it decreases your health by 10% so as you can see here your stand health has dropped to 321. Now the only thing that hasn't changed is the standard attack damage which is 12, your barrage length which is 5 seconds and the stand tier which is B. Plus. Now, how do you even get yourself a C Moon? Now, there are two ways to get yourself C Moon, and there are some few requirements to get C Moon. Now, the first requirement is, of course, getting yourself a White Snake. It can be whatever White Snake. You can get the White Snake both from Scan Arrows and Charge Arrows. I recommend you using White Snake. Uh, using charged arrows to get yourself white snake because you have a 4.9% chance of getting one. And once you do get yourself that, you should also get the white snake with a specific attribute. So if you want a godly uh, semen, you need a godly white snake. And then the next thing is of course using an item called a green baby. Now you can get this by finding it on the ground or going doing some layer slash dungeons so that the boss drops it and there are a percentage of you getting it from drops so i'd recommend you to do that but you can also try finding it all over the map if you'd rather do that so once you get this you just use it on your white snake of course there's some requirements like level requirements to use the grain baby and then you should be set you should get yourself your C Moon. Now that you know how to get yourself C Moon, let's go ahead and talk about damage, animation, and skill tree at the very end. So let's start with the left mouse button. As you can see, here, it deals 24 damage with a critical hit of 34. Yeah. Next one is going to be the power punch, which is the right mouse button, which deals 37 damage. Next one is going to be the barrage, which is going to be holding E. But before that, I'm going to talk about the stands passive move set it's got it's gonna be the time stop movement now as it says in the name you should be able to move when somebody uses time stop which is pretty good because you are able to either block their oncoming attack when they're using their time stop or try to run away try because you're still gonna be like turning to stone you will be unable to move after you're able to move in those few seconds so use that as use your um basic or passive move as a way to protect yourself you have like it's like a warning that time is stopping prepare so let's go with the moves now, which actually deals damage, and that's going to be the Barrage Hold E. It deals 11 damage per punch, which should last 5 seconds. Next one is going to be the Heavy Punch. Click R, and it deals 55 damage. should also deal knockback and stun. Next one is going to be the Ground Slam. Now this one is AoE, so whoever is around you should deal damage. Click T. Now as you can see, everyone deals 167 damage, everyone around you. Next one is going to be the Round Reverb, and what this does is when you click F, Everyone around is going to also deal damage. Uh, it's going to be 48 damage. And it also should fling them away from you. Which is really nice. If you just fling them. You know? Fling. Next one is going to be the Suspense Gravity. This is close combat. Go near your opponent. Click H. And as you can see here, it deals 55 damage. Normally, if this Archer Dummy is a player, your opponent will go upwards. And then you take damage. It's like using your Psychic Power. Next one is going to be the Gravity Repel, and what this does is when you click Z, you're going to deal 48 damage. This is another AoE, and whoever is around you will, like, you will repel them away from you, which is just throwing them away, or sending them far away from you. Next one is going to be the Gravity Shift, and this is the last one. Go ahead and click X, everything's going to turn green, everyone is going to have the same screen. And then everybody is going to have low gravity, making them jump higher and a little bit slower. So yes, that is pretty much all of the animation movesets for this stand. And all the damage, of course. Let's go to the skill trees to see what we can do to make this stand a lot more powerful. 
the only thing that we can do right now is just increase the base damage force so i'm gonna go ahead and instant auto fill that get out of the skill tree and see how many damage this stand now deals so let's start with the left mouse button it deals 28 damage with a critical hit of 40 right mouse button deals 49 42 damage next one is going to be the barrage it deals 12 damage heavy punch deals 64 damage the ground slam deals 194 damage and then the ground reverb deals 56 damage the suspends gravity deals 64 damage and then the gravity repel deals 56 damage i'm not gonna do the gravity shift because it does not have anything physically or anything nothing has changed with the gravity shift so there's no point on using it so guys that should be it for this video if you have any question about the stand go ahead and ask me any question is available but that should be it thanks for watching and maybe see you again in the next video